Yellowstone warning a supervolcano could be preparing to erupt. A volcanologist who has spent time studying the volcano says the devastation it would cause would be complete and utter incomprehensible. Modern humans have never experienced the magnitude of a supervolcano eruption, and even if they did, humanity's survival would likely be uncertain. These catastrophic events, far more powerful than regular volcanic eruptions, have the potential to reshape the planet, reshape ecosystems, and cause widespread devastation. Unlike regular volcanoes, supervolcanoes unleash eruptions that register as high as 8 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index VEI, releasing more than 1,000 cubic kilometers 240 cubic miles of volcanic material in a single event. For context, the infamous 1883 eruption of Krakatoa in Indonesia, which caused a massive tsunami and killed more than 36,000 people, pales in comparison to what a supervolcano could unleash. While Krakatoa remains one of the most catastrophic eruptions in recorded history, it is not considered a supervolcano. Instead, scientists have long watched giant volcanoes like Yellowstone, located in the U.S. state of Wyoming, with concern. Volcanic activity at Yellowstone began about two million years ago, producing three major eruptions throughout its geological history. These eruptions, which occurred 2.1 million, 1.3 million and 630,000 years ago, were unlike anything modern science has ever seen, releasing enough ash and debris to bury entire regions and affect the global climate for decades. The last eruption, 630,000 years ago, was estimated to be 1,000 times more powerful than the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens, which caused more than $1 billion, 800 million pounds, in damage. Yellowstone's explosive potential is rooted in the vast reservoir of magma that lies beneath the surface of Yellowstone National Park, an area renowned for its geysers, hot springs and stunning scenery. According to the United States Geological Survey USGS, Yellowstone has been relatively stable for the past 140 years. However, experts continue to study its behavior, knowing the potential consequences of its awakening. If Yellowstone were to erupt tomorrow, the consequences would be catastrophic. The Smithsonian Channel short documentary, What if the Yellowstone Volcano Erupted Tomorrow? Explores this hypothetical scenario, painting a grim picture of what would happen. Speaking of the highly unpredictable situation, the narrator notes, Right now, in the US, one of the world's largest volcanoes is preparing to erupt. If Yellowstone decided to erupt, the results would be catastrophic. The volcano has erupted three times in the past three million years, leading some to wonder if we need to worry about another eruption in the near future. But if it happened tomorrow and you lived in North America, there's almost nothing you could do to prepare. Dr. Robert B. Smith, a geophysicist and expert on supervolcanoes, describes the potential devastation as complete and utter incomprehensible. Unlike smaller volcanic eruptions that primarily produce lava flows, a Yellowstone eruption would eject most of its magma as ash, creating a vast plume that would blanket much of North America and spread around the world. Within a 1,000 kilometer, 621 mile, radius, tens of millions of people could die from asphyxiation, as inhaling volcanic ash forms a cement-like substance in the lungs. Buildings would fare no better, a mere 30 centimeters, 12 inches, of ash would be enough to collapse most roofs. Furthermore, even areas thousands of kilometers from an eruption would face dire consequences. 
Just a centimeter of ash could contaminate water supplies, destroy crops and cripple infrastructure. Globally, temperatures could drop by as much as 10 degrees Celsius, triggering a volcanic winter that could last for up to a decade. Such climate change would devastate agriculture and create food shortages, leading to famine and widespread migration. Fortunately, the chances of a supervolcano erupting in our lifetime are extremely low. The USGS stresses that Yellowstone's current activity, including small earthquakes and geothermal features, is consistent with its behavior over the past 140 years. The odds are very high that Yellowstone will remain eruption-free for centuries to come, the agency says.